from a conference standpoint, we need to listen. We need to hear people's stories and we need to, to understand and just appreciate circumstances that people have lived through in ways that we probably haven't taken the time to listen in the past. Um, I want to make sure as a league, and we're forming a working group, including coaches, presidents, administrators, faculty, um, that is centered on the student athletes, though, and that we make sure that we listen to them. I want to make sure whatever initiatives they inspire us to to take a hold of our things that we can accomplish and be successful with, that we that we we focus our energies to make sure that there really is a victory in, in what we are trying to do. Um, you know, the OBC talks about itself being a family. And, and it's in, I don't think it's just words. I honestly believe we really are a, a, just a really nice conference family that appreciate one another and value one another. But inherent in that, if we're going to stress the importance of, of family and community, and we just finished uh, another strategic planning exercise, and it was different than anyone I've ever done before. And that what came forward is just how much this community cares for students and how much we value that sense of community. If we're community, we have to care for one another and everybody in that community needs to be valued. So we need to make sure that this year, as we talk about community, that it's an open-ended dialogue that we, we are listening and making sure that people feel valued in the family. So I don't know um, what this group will result in as it's, it's, it's its work products, but I think bringing this work together and the fact that we've had so many people that want to be a part, I think one of our challenges is to make sure that we don't have so many administrators, we, we don't down to, drown out the student voice. Um, that it's going to be a just an important thing for us to do, but I'm really excited just about the level of support that we have. But it has to start with our student athletes. Um, we're going to use our student athlete advisory committee as the base, but we're going to build on from that because we need to make sure not only students that want to be a part of it, but students that need to be a part of it are included.